after that excitement, we're on to the girls. 200 meters freestyle. So the 17 and under 200 freestyle. In lane zero from National Centre Limerick, we have Ella Carroll. In lane one from Sunday Swell, we have Anna Feenan. Two from Commons, Jessica Gannon. Three from New Ross, Ive Bailey. Four from Leander, Alec Dunnigan. In lane five from Dolphin, Hannah O'Shea. In lane six from NAC, Beth Gardner. In lane seven from Leander, Molly Mac McOrlum. In lane eight from Sligo, Daniel Farrell. And in lane nine from Mullingar, Carla Cunningham. So great, we have some uh, swimmers here chasing European Youth Olympic Festival times. We have in lane two, Jessica Gannon from Commons. We have Hannah O'Shea from Dolphin. That time is a 2.08.12, so it's not an easy time. And no. We also have all the 15-year-olds in this race going to be chasing that. Sive Bailey from New Ross, 2.12.2 this morning. Hannah O'Shea, 2.11, and Jessica Gannon, 2.13. So they're all there, thereabouts. Yeah, I mean, they were just off the pace this morning. That uh, time this morning they would have had to done was 2.09.41 in the heat. So it would, would have been slightly easier than the final, 2.08.12. Um, you know, but you just don't know how the girls are feeling um, whenever they go in. Okay, you don't know the strategies. Um, but it is Ella, who is the fastest seat three here, so she will be looking to set the pace. Although Hannah O'Shea, she looks like she's going out pretty strong. Yeah, and so does Sife Bailey there in lane three. So I think we have lane three, four, and five out strong which is good to see yeah i think the 200 is uh it's an interesting event i think the 200 it's it's like a, it's a it's a it's a short middle distance it is. so it's not a it's not a direct sprint uh, the 50 and the 100 but it's not a distance yes. so you've almost got to get about the balance between the two of them you've got to get out hard and you've almost got to keep that uh strong but not sprint pace throughout the 200 um, but as we said before, it is usually the third 50 of a 200 where people can fall off the yep. wagon and lose that pace. So it's going to be interesting to see. Hannah O'Shea they in lane 5 turning in 102.4, followed by Ella Donegan, 102.4, and then Molly Mac you know, They are chasing that yes. too. I mean, that is possible, going out in a 102 and coming back on a 1.6, like 1.5 high. That is, that is, a, that is a, a reasonable split. And it she's is. going for it. She is. She wants it, like... We want to get all these juniors on these teams, get them out there, get exposure. Is this possible for a 4x200 relay as well? You know, Definitely. like we have, we've seen Ali Mc, McKibben earlier. Size coming back strong. Here are Molly in lane 7 as well. She's coming through. Really good swim there from Hanno. And you can just see it all. All the girls would be putting that head down now. Really trying to dive in those legs as they come into that last 20, 25 metres. But it is Hannah who is going to hold on here if she continues this form. Yeah, great swim here from Hannah O'Shea. Yeah, she's really good. It from the start. She has, she has. Yeah. And she's going to get, she's going to get her hand on that wall first. Absolutely. No, first place, two nine eight five. So they have just missed that time, two o eight one two. Was still a great swim. I mean, proper gutsy. I mean, I think you can see she's kind of done a bit of a head check. Um, knows that she's obviously not made the consideration time. But she went for it. But she and went for we it. Saw. Yeah, and that's what we want to see from our juniors. Like definitely, well, we well, have there. I know Shea, um, Ellie Donegan, and Sive Bailey two o nine to two eleven four. Even uh, the Leander swimmer Molly two eleven six. We're still in there. We're still under the two twelve mark. So yeah. 